Welcome back to the Engineered Angler. I'm back in the shop. It's raining, so no fishing this afternoon. So I'm working on a lathe lure, just another one of these uh, jelly bean shaped square bills that I've been making. Here's the four that I've already made in different uh, sort of states of disrepair. They've been chomped on and trashed by uh, pike and pickerel, I guess, around here. Bass, uh, bowfin, you name it, man. But I wanted to share what I do on the lathe before I pull that lure off, those final details that I can do on the lathe and that I recommend everybody do it this way. So when I talk about indexing your lathe, what I'm talking about is getting marks on your spindle that allow you to turn the lathe and keep track of how far you've gone. So you can keep track whether you've turned 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and this allows you to place elements on your lure really precisely and it's really easy to work on the lathe. So what I've done here is you can see that I've made a, a little white ink mark right on the fixed part of this head and then on the spindle that moves I've centered up a white mark right on one of these uh, bores. Now these bores are perfectly aligned at 90 degrees away from each other which makes it really easy for me. So I can align this and I know if I bring the next one over I've gone 90 degrees on my lure. Okay, so the things I want to mark on this lure are the eye uh, socket placements, the, the dive lip slot. You can see on these lures that I, I have a hollow that I grind out with my belt sander. I'm also going to mark where I want that to begin. The first key thing to do is to mark a line. So my first step will be to align my spindle mark right at top dead center. And then I'm going to go ahead and eyeball the very top. I'll take a straight edge that's flexible and run a straight edge along it. So here's a thin piece of plastic. So I'm going to go ahead and just play this, place this in here. Straight line. Okay, so I drew this extra heavy with the pencil, so it looks a little sloppy, but that's essentially what you want. That's my belly line. So now I have something to work from for locating the rest of the, the feature. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set my tool rest up really close and I'm going to elevate it so I know I'm going to elevate it and eyeball it so it's aligned right with the center of the lure. I'll put this back on top dead center. The, the line is up on top. Since my belly is to the top, I know that my tool rest is right at 90 degrees. I'm going to pick where I want this eye to be and that I'll just eyeball. No pun intended. And now I can just rotate this lure around and draw the line where both eyes will be. So I've got the right eye location marked. I can go 180 degrees, line it back up over here, and just mark my location for that other eye. Now I want to place where that contour is going to begin on the grind out. So I'm going to put that right about there, rotate it around. And make sure it shows where the belly is. And there we go. Now we have a line where that grind out is. And I can always just sketch in that I want it ground out right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drill out these eye sockets. Because I like to use them to position my lip. So let me get a bit and a drill and I'll get on it. Okay, so the eye sockets are in. I'm going to go ahead and clean up the base of these things. You see they're kind of rough. So I'm going to use my baking powder trick. There you go, I got the, the bottom kind of smoothed out more or less. I'm going to put a couple of drops of super glue in there. So now that's set up. I'm going to do the other side. Okay, so now I feel like I'm done with the eye sockets. You can see they're nicely placed. The next step is to cut in the lip. So remember that this, this line that goes all the way across here is my belly line. So I know that my lip has to be perpendicular to that. And I don't want the lip to go into the, into the eye socket. So I know I want it to end before the eye socket. And I want it to begin right about just behind the nose of the lure, right about there. And so I'm going to go ahead and, and make a line right there. And I want it to end right about a third of the way into the eye diameter. So I'm going to make another line here. 
So now I have, I've got my belly line, I've got the line where the lip is going to begin, and I've got the line where the lip will end right there, if you see right there at the socket. So, so the lip will follow that line that I sort of semi-sketched in there. But let me show you how I set up to cut that slot in and keep it as square and as aligned as I can. You'll need a saw that has a nice thin kerf and then it has a nice rigid back something that is long enough that gives you a nice eye on how straight and square it is but also is big enough so you can use an alignment tool and the alignment tool I use is this clamp now you can just use a C clamp but you can see this is just uh, a trigger clamp that I've got on here and the idea is that I can place this here and use that use the back edge of this clamp to keep this saw perfectly square perpendicular to that center line that I've got drawn in there. Spindle back up to top dead center there on your little dot and then you can begin the saw. And I'm just going to square this up and start off nice and slowly. Now I can look and see if I've reached the base of the eye. So you can see it's right at the, the beginning of the eyeball here as well. So now you can see pretty clearly that I've got that slot cut pretty cleanly from one the from the beginning of one eye socket to the next. I've got the eye sockets in with a nice flat bottom. I've got my bottom line drawn in. I can also go ahead and drill where I want to put my hook eyes. But I'm not going to do that right now because that's just too easy to do elsewhere. So my next step is to give it a, a final sanding and then I'll cut it off. Okay, so here's the final product. You can see the carved in part of it, the lip slot and the eyeballs. So this little guy is about ready to finish up and go fishing with. Thanks for watching. I hope you got a little something out of it. Uh, it's a really good idea to go ahead and index your, your lathe. It makes it a lot easier to work with. And it gives you that opportunity to do all that work on the lathe while it's still well fastened and you can align everything. So thank you for watching. If you enjoy the topics, subscribe, click the little bell so you don't miss anything. Uh, and I'll be back in a few days with something new. Thanks for watching.